Hello everyone, welcome to JH Academy. I am Olivia Fernandez. So today we are going to discuss about digestion and absorption. So before going to the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and share as much as possible. So without any further delay, let's get started. So digestion and absorption. Before moving into the topic, you need to know what is digestion and human digestive system. What are the parts in human digestive system? So what is digestion? Digestion It is the process where complex food is broken down into simple absorbable form. So digestion it is a process where a complex food substance is broken down into simple absorbable form. The food what we eat every day will be in a complex form. So in order for our body to get absorbed it need to be broken down into smaller particle as well as absorbable form. So that is known as digestion. So how it is possible? What are the steps in digestion? So what all are the enzymes that contribute to the digestion? So that part we are going to study in this chapter. So in the process of digestion, there are totally four steps. The first step is ingestion, second is digestion, third is absorption and the fourth one is ejection. First is ingestion. Ingestion is what you take the food, the food what we eat through our mouth. So that is called as ingestion, ingestion of a food. The second one is digestion. Digestion means the ingested food what is there. The food what we have taken through our mouth gets broken down into absorbable form either by the mechanical method or through enzymes. So that is digestion. And the third step is absorption. Absorption means the broken down food into absorbable form in the process of digestion is made to absorb by our body. Our body will absorb those particles or the food. So that process is known as absorption. And the last one is ejection where the undigested food materials is ejected out. So these are the four steps in digestion. And in the digestive system, so in the human digestive system, there are two components. There are two components in human digestive system. The first one is elementary canal. And the second one is digestive gland. Elementary canal and digestive gland. So what is this elementary canal? Elementary canal means the food pipe or the it starts from the mouth, the pipe which moves to the mouth and it will go through the intestine. Okay, or the pipeline through which our food moves, that is elementary canal. So food moves through the uh, mouth, esophagus, then to the stomach, then to the small intestine, then to the large intestine, then to the anus. It takes place through a sim single pipeline and that is known as elementary canal. Second is digestive gland. Digestive gland is the second component. So what is this digestive glands? So in the process of digestion, there are many enzymes which contribute for the process of digestion. So those enzymes are secreted by glands. 
which are known as digestive glands so let's study in detail about the a human digestive system and about elementary canal which all are the which all comes under elementary canal and also which are the digestive glands so human digestive system starts with mouth okay so it will start with mouth and this is the nasal cavity or the nostrils this doesn't take part in digestion even though even though we have to draw this to show the common passage okay so before that so this is mouth or what we call as buccal cavity or oral cavity mouth leads to oral cavity okay so this is mouth So both oral cavity and nasal cavity opens into a common opening so this common opening so both has a common opening here so this common opening is called as pharynx this is pharynx okay so pharynx is known as the common passage for both food and air so next from the pharynx the alimentary canal will lead to a long tubular pipe which is known as esophagus esophagus so esophagus leads to a j shaped structure which is called as stomach in which the food is stored stomach right so next the ending of the stomach will lead to small intestine this is small intestine so small intestine has three parts okay so duodenum jejunum and ileum the starting point of the small intestine okay from where the small uh, stomach leads to small intestine this u shaped structure what is there this is the starting point of the small intestine and this part is known as duodenum duodenum next duodenum leads to the next part of the small intestine that is the coiled structure which is called as jejunum next jejunum leads to the highly coiled structure of small intestine that is ileum ileum okay so these are the three parts of small intestine the starting point is known as duodenum the duodenum will lead to a coiled structure of small intestine that is jejunum and jejunum will lead to the highly coiled structure of the small intestine that is ileum next from the ileum the large intestine will start okay so this is large intestine 
Large intestine also has three parts, cecum, colon and rectum. The starting point, point of the large intestine. Okay, so this is the starting point of the large intestine through the small intestine. And this part, the starting point is called as cecum. So cecum has a finger-like projection which is called as vermiform appendix. So it is a vestigial organ and it doesn't have any function. So this finger-like projection is called as vermiform appendix. Next, the cecum will lead to the second part of the large intestine that is colon. So colon is divided into three structures okay so the food from the cecum it will move to the colon in this direction so this part of the colon is called as this part of the colon is called as ascending colon ascending colon next the food will move through this direction through this direction right so this part of the colon is called as transverse colon this part of the colon is called as transverse colon next next the uh, food will move in this direction so this part of the large intestine or this part of the colon is called as descending colon Next, the colon, descending colon will lead to the large, last part of the small intestine that is rectum. So, this is rectum. Rectum is a pouch-like structure in which the excretory waste is stored. Okay, before ejecting out of the excretory waste, it is stored in rectum. And then the last part of the alimentary canal that is anus. So this is anus. So this is about alimentary canal. The What all are the parts that comes in alimentary canal. So let's see it once again. The alimentary canal starts with mouth. Then it will lead to a common opening for food and air that is pharynx. Then pharynx will lead to the long tubular structure which is called as esophagus. Esophagus will lead to the J-shaped structure in which the food is stored that is stomach. Then stomach will lead to small intestine. So small intestine has three parts duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Then the part of ileum will lead to the large intestine. So large intestine also has three parts, cecum, colon and rectum. Cecum has vermiform appendix, colon is divided into three segments, ascending colon, transverse colon and descending colon. Right? Next, the descending colon will lead to rectum, rectum will lead to anus the food moves through this single pipe and this pipe is known as alimentary canal okay so next apart from the alimentary canal there are also digestive glands so there are three digestive glands which are present in our digestive system first one is a salivary gland salivary gland is present in mouth right so in mouth there are three pairs of salivary gland which are present okay uh, parotoid gland submaxillary or submandibular gland and sublingual salivary gland so there are totally three pairs of salivary gland and apart from salivary gland there is also liver which is a digestive gland and also pancreas so these three are the digestive glands salivary gland pancreas and liver Okay, so what is the function of digestive gland? The digestive gland will secrete enzymes which are helpful for digestion. Okay, so I hope you all understood the topic. So that's all for today. The, in the next class, let's discuss in detail about each and every part of elementary canal.